Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. And we're still in Chapter 1. We're now moving on to the second mission, Coffee and Colonialism. Yep, 1870, we've moved forward in time a little bit. And, uh, well, we have a few bonus tasks over here. Digestive driver, mysterious monuments, and new lines of business. Let's get started with this level. And it's the island of Java, apparently. East Indies. Surely the most exemplary colonial empire under the sun. With luscious fruits and cheap labor in abundance. You act on behalf of the colonial administration. A gifted talent in the art of engineering, you have been appointed to modernize the local transport sector. Complete this task to the satisfaction of the crown. If you do, even the post as governor might be in store for you. Transport is a much sought after service on this scarcely civilized island. Eating draft animals such as oxen is punishable by law. That's why the colonial administration has commissioned you to build a railroad so that the plantation business prospers. The delicious coffee is supposed to be transported from the fertile hinterlands to the facility near town for processing. Anyone set on building wisely and cheaply avoids unnecessary slopes. Perform the necessary surveying work. Okay, so now introduction from the first mission where you can just put it wherever you want. It's basically going to tell you how to make things cheaper. And is, where's my contour overlay? There we go. Build a route from a thriving plantation across treacherous terrain to the processing factory where the coffee fruit is husked. Okay, so I assume the processing factory is over here. Uh, coffee plantation cargo station. And that's coffee plantation. Okay, and all the way over here, we have uh, what, the processing center? Yeah, the export factory. Okay, so clearly we're going to need a train station uh, basically over this side, and then we're going to follow the terrain and avoid contours like this. The higher you go, the worse it gets. So you can see they already have a railway all the way from the original, I think. And let me just turn off the, the contour layer again. Well, yeah, they do have a railway. That isn't just a track. So that's fine. We just need to build the last part of it, which is fine. Uh, we can just go and go to our track and make it quite easy. Oops, <laughs> not that easy. <laughs> Let's uh, click on that and drag this time. There we go. And see if we can get this to be quite nice. Let's scroll out. Um, well, in fact, no, we need a train station first, don't we? Yep. Let's build a train station first to connect it to. Uh, we want a cargo station. Um, terminus station or cargo station? I think probably a terminus station, I would imagine. So uh, let's rotate that around. Oops, if I press the right key. There we go. And it must be connected to a road, apparently. So that is connected. Okay. And then we just want the track going from it. Tracks. Seventy-four grand. Is needed. Okay, hearted area. So we can click on that for a link. Uh, hearted area. Did that. Did that actually? Oh, it's anywhere in here. I was expecting it to like be a little tiny area. No, it's just basically saying anywhere in here is fine. So uh, why don't we just do that? And this rotation is the wrong way again. It really would be good if that uh, is actually going to be fixed or at least have an option so I can rotate it the other way. So, yep, we'll have a depot just off here. Then we can just reconnect everything with a track. I want it to be sort of a narrow angle. There we go. Purchase a complete train, including locomotive and freight cars. Okay, so buy vehicles. Uh, oh, we got some new locomotives. Fine. So we got steam, electric, diesel, of which we <laughs> we're just having steam, apparently. Okay, so we have two options here. What are the options? Uh, what well, This is higher power. That means it's, uh, it's able to track them more, but of course, we're on level ground, so that shouldn't be much of an issue. 
Uh, it's heavier, and it, other than that, there is no particular need. But let's just add one of these larger ones. Uh, in fact, uh, it's much more expensive. <laughs> it is like 70 grand more, but we've got 49 million. I mean, come on, that's fine. And then uh, let's just see. In multiple units, there's nothing in there. So we just want some cargo options. And this one is for coffee, it seems. It, apparently, you can only carry uh, sugar in this one. Um, I, I don't know why that's a thing, but let's just add four cr freight cars. Uh, four, and that is everything, I think. Yeah, bye. $800,000. Coffee fruit can now be brought from the plantations on its way to further processing. Okay, so we're just going to create a route like we have done in previous, uh, well, in the previous level. New line, and let's just call it, um, I don't know, coffee export train line. Cool. And then we'll just click on the stations. One there, and one there. Okay, cool. And that's done. So then we just need to assign vehicles to it, basically. So if we just go to the train over here, we can click on that. And click on this, and it should be assigned to the line. And that, uh, oh, I need to actually press play to get it to actually do anything. But that should be everything he needs. Yeah, let's just speed that thing up and deliver coffee fruit to the factory. So obviously, I'm going to jump forwards while it actually goes and does that. Uh, it's going to turn around here. I probably should have put that depot pointing the other way, but <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It'll, uh, it'll even out after uh, after one trip. Okay, the train's about to arrive. It seems like they've built like the start of a siding here. I'm not sure if that's going to be for something, but uh, we'll see soon, I hope. What and there we go. Superb railway. It provides the local plantation leaseholders with truly valuable services. Still fresh from the fields, the fruit quickly reaches the factory. From there, the colony's delightful coffee must be brought to the warehouses and offices in the port for export. That shouldn't be left up to the local laborers, no way. Too easygoing, too inefficient, too unreliable. Specially built stations are called for, so that the first-rate coffee makes it into town undamaged. If need be, stations that can be guarded against blundering hordes. Okay, so we want a truck stop. Um, it's 1870, I don't think we're gonna get actual trucks, but hey, let's take a look. So here's the one in the factory, and then we can click on the commercial area of town. Ah, that's really... Oh, we're going to... Uh, oh, well. You're going to get bulldozed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> so truck stop it is. Truck station. Um, yeah, three buildings will be removed. No, let's, let's rotate this, hopefully, so that only one will be removed. Two buildings. Uh, can I get it to one? One building, yeah, there we go. So if I just uh, rotate it a little bit. Uh, yes, right there. Okay, sorry about the building. And uh, we'll just put another one down over here and rotate this as well. I almost want like a modifier key with the mouse scroll wheel to rotate, but apparently no, it's N and M. Ready to go. Nothing stands in the way of speedy transportation to the local seaport anymore. Send the freight cars of coffee on their way. Okay, so we're getting a new line, and this is uh, coffee bean truck line. Okay, and then we'll just basically add those to it. Oh, um, truck line. Yep. One there, one there. And that's pretty much it. Then we just need to buy trucks, of course. So we're going to uh, allocate at least four appropriate vehicles to the route. Do we have any... Um, we only have a train depot. We don't seem to have a truck depot. So let's build a truck depot out of town. And then I don't have to demolish any more buildings. So that's, a, that's not trucks. Um, tram stop, tra unload stop, road depot. There we go. And we'll put it right next door. That'll do. And then we need to buy some vehicles. So it needs four appropriate vehicles. So we want cargo vehicles. Horse-drawn carriage. These are European horse-drawn carriages because we're, this is a colonialism. I'm, I've been trying not to comment on the, the, the voiceover talking about how horrible, um, you know, colonial workers are and an endless supply of cheap labor. Yeah, um, I'm going to stay away from that topic entirely <laughs> before I get started. Anyway, 
Uh, it's appropriate for the time period, unfortunately for the people involved. Um, so, uh, we have capacity of five, and all three of them will actually do the job. They're just slightly more expensive. Uh, there is no actual difference between them, it seems. Yeah, flatbed or covered. Where do we just get a flatbed, then? And, uh, it has a high, high capacity in the horse-drawn carriage, so we'll just get that. Uh, let's just buy four of them. Okay, and we can select all of them, I think. If I click on there, in fact, can we click unselect all of them? Yeah, we can. Good. Nice UI design. And we'll set that to the truck line. The factory now finds itself in a laudable position by sending processed coffee into town. To experience considerable growth, its products have to reach a clientele with money to spend. Is there anything actually on that truck? It looks like it. Uh, no, it looks like it's not on that truck whatsoever. Uh, some of it has to be coming from the. Um, no, let's have a oh look. no, Lucas, the capable engineer on your locomotive, seems to have vanished from the face of the earth, or anywhere else for that matter. Time to find a stand-in right away. Would one of the natives be able to meet this difficult challenge? Several locals show an interest in learning the decidedly noble profession as locomotive engineer. A practice route for training purposes is needed. Meanwhile, certain signs are feeding horrible rumors about the indigenous tribe's diet. <laughs> Build a test track with two small stations and a depot in the highlighted area. The highlighted area is clearly some sort of volcano. Uh, I mean, there's no... <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't really get... I don't think you get flat top mountains like that, so... Yeah, let's just go around and around a volcano. I mean, I suppose this is Java and Krakatoa is probably somewhere east of here, uh, according to the movie. So, uh, yes, uh, I guess we will just put a, um, a test track down. <laughs> Two small stations and a depot. Okay, so we can get this to be quite cheap, I suppose. If we just build this, uh, we want the stations first, don't we? So it doesn't say any particular kind of station, so why don't we just do... Um, oh, hang on. Uh, Thanks to your reliable deliveries. Yes, yes. The factory is working far above par. Although it would certainly be capable of processing much more. Virtually colossal capacities of coffee. You should weigh the idea of increasing the transport volume. Because coffee from the colony is a commodity in great demand in parlors and salons on the continent. One train isn't enough to adequately supply the factory with coffee fruit. A passing siding is needed so that a second train can use the line. Yep, see what I said? Okay, so first of all, let's just actually create this test track just so that we have uh, this connected. It will that connect to that? It looks like it will, but at the same time, it may be a bit of a, a bit of an issue getting that to connect. I don't want to actually go any kind of contour problem there. Okay, that will do. And then we'll just have another uh, sort of, well, there's, there's nothing to connect this to as such, but let's just rotate it and put it, let's say it's over here. And then we'll have a depot nearby. Okay. The correct way to drive the vehicle must be practiced first so that potential passengers are not scared off right away. In the meantime, some hard to digest news reaches you. Your skilled worker is said to have fallen victim to a bloodthirsty tribe of cannibals. Okay, there we go. By a locomotive, I have it driven along the test track for at least 1,500 meters. Well, it isn't 1,500 meters long, but hopefully, collectively, 1,500 meters is going to be fine. Otherwise, I've built this uh, wrong. <laughs> Which wouldn't surprise me, but um, yeah, it's just going to be a cargo train. So let's get the, just the cheapest one we have and a cargo box car. Um, add one of those, remove one of the others. Yep. And buy vehicle unavailable. Well, I guess we're not having that one then. Uh, I guess we're going to have to have the other one. Steam. And cargo. Hmm. It must be the locomotive. I must have to buy that one. Okay, uh, hang on. <laughs> uh, maybe it's the cargo. Maybe I just don't need any cargo. Is that it? 
Okay, great. Uh, fine, I guess. And then we're just going to create a, basically another line. So, uh, oops, not, not, not by vehicles. New line. Test track. And click on both stations. Then we can click on depot. Assign this train to the test track. Although how you can assign it to the coffee export line, I do not know, because it's not actually connected. So maybe that's just magic how that happens. Anyway, that is starting to accumulate. Let's just see whether once it turns around, uh, will it continue to accumulate? It will, so that's fine. So now we want a passing loop over here. And uh, yes, so, so this is what it's all about. Good. Glad I mentioned it before it did. Let's just do that. The trains should wait for each other on the passing siding. This requires placing signals. Reminds me of Factorio, but nowhere near as complicated, which is fine by me. Um, passing signals. Good news. The locomotive engineer has returned safe and sound. While you pictured him in the stomachs of savages, he was having the time of his life in the virgin forest. Naturally, you can't tolerate misconduct like that, and regretfully have to fire the good man. Okay, so let's just put a passing in. One going, well, this way. We're driving on the right, it seems. And one going that way. If the plant is to be used to its fullest capacity, Another complete train is needed. Okay, so I guess we're going to get another train. Buy vehicles, and we're going to buy an identical train. Well, this is the larger engine, and the cargo uh, is the uh, this one. Okay, buy that. And we'll assign that back to the same line. Wherever coffee production thrives, business and prosperity flourish too. Thanks to the railroad, the port town of Surabaya has become a lively trading center for countless goods and services. All kinds of people from all corners of the island want to do profitable business here. And that's why the colonial administration has commissioned you with setting up a passenger line from Semarang to Surabaya. Time to build a line which will soon link the key trading hubs in eastern Java. Huh. No collisions, no factorial explosion death. Good. <laughs> That's fine by me. Uh, not that I not that I do that at all. No, not whatsoever. Connect Surabaya and Semarang with a passenger railway. Okay, so so there's Surabaya. And where's Semarang? Uh, that's on the other side of town. Okay, so how about the... Um, let's take a look at the contours. Uh, yeah, we've got contours. So we probably want to go uh, the, basically crossing as few lines as possible. Uh, although we can't avoid it somewhat on this side of things. So if we send it out, maybe going out this way, going this way, and then into the top somewhere here. That seems probably the most likely. So let's just get a railway sorted. I like how it's building up the complexity gradually, rather than just overwhelming you with everything at once. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much a fan. Uh, terminus station so far. Let's turn that around. Okay. And let's have that uh, going this way. Yep. And let's build one at the other end. And this one was going this way, if I remember rightly. Turning you around. There we go. All right, and let's bring the contour overlay back and then go to tracks where we want some kind of track going from here. Whoops. Keep doing that. I almost want a mode where I just click once and then only when I click again will it actually uh, work. Let's just... Can I actually get through the... Let's keep going. Yep, looks like I can. Although the extra curve is probably more expensive than not crossing a contour at this particular point. But hey, I'm going to keep going. And can I make it through here? Possibly. There we go. The railroad has been completed. Curiosity runs high. Time will tell if passenger transportation really is a venture that's worthwhile. And again, we'll just put a depot down. 
connect it with the track. What? Too much, too much curvature? Too much slope? There we go. <laughs> Good. I wouldn't like to have to move this again, but hey. Buy a vehicle. And this time we're going to go for some passenger wagons, uh, which we only get a few options. So, uh, again, I'm just going to buy the, the, the highest cost version. Uh, it should be faster, I would imagine. That would be faster to accelerate, decelerate, etc. And it doesn't tell us how many we need to actually buy here, but uh, why don't we put three passenger cars on and buy one. Uh, assign that to a, a rail line, which we don't have yet. So we want the Surabaya Semarang rail line. So let's just get that going. Um, there we go. Surabaya. Semarang passenger line. Okay, let's assign our train to it. Line is no stops. Oh, I forgot to put the <laughs> Yep, helps if I actually say where it should go between. Otherwise, the line doesn't work very well as a line. There we go. Now, I should be able to just click on this and assign it to there. Good. And that's going to take time to actually go forwards, so I'm going to skip forward until it actually picks up some passengers, well, until it actually picks up as many passengers as we need. Oh, in fact, oh, hang on, there's a new mission. A formidable enterprise like yours calls for a suitably first-rate branch office. After all, you're not just anybody. Except? Build a prestigious residence that is unrivaled in the whole island. Doesn't tell me where I need to actually put it, but given I've got one truck line coming through Surabaya and another passenger rail line coming through Surabaya, Surabaya oh, wow, Surabaya, then why don't we actually build something maybe out here? Uh, headquarters. Uh, does it tell me how I can build a headquarters? It does not, so I would assume it's just in buildings somewhere. Uh, buildings. No. No. Where have you put headquarters? Thank you. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Headquarters. Build. And it's obscuring the view with, <laughs> with the dialogue. Okay, uh, why don't we just put it, I don't know, um, here? A truly attractive estate. A veritable plague is spoiling all the fun. Snakes have occupied the building. I don't like snakes. Rumor has it that a wise old woman knows how you can rid yourself of the snakes in your walls. She's supposed to be in Surabaya. Why do it always have to be snakes? Yep, Indiana, that's exactly right. So we have to click somewhere, I imagine. Uh, somewhere over here. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you can click on it and then uh, I presume it points you at the right area. Fine. Let me find her and then it'll uh, move us on. No, a thing. But you should try your luck with her cousin in Semarang, who has a knack for the art of snake charming. Okay, so presumably around here somewhere. The snake charmer declared that you've probably angered the mighty snake goddess with your projects. The snake priestess of Mount Merapi is the only one who could remedy the situation. Okay, there it is. There is a temple to the snake goddess. Yep, I'm right here. I found it. Give me the next step. Maybe not, there are multiple temples. Hmm. Uh, is it you? No. Um, how, where's my, where's the temple? Ah, there we go. Okay, so there may be another, another temple. Is this the snake goddess temple? Are you gonna actually... I found you! The priestess has spoken. The only way she is willing to call off her children is if you make a sacrifice to the great snake goddess. Coffee, the priestess prophesied, will be the sure thing to appease the goddess. You know, I'm really thinking that they're taking advantage. Uh, there's some kind of capitalism going on here. Yes, yes, an offering of, of coffee. The the thing that you're making uh, would be would be most most advantageous. Uh, <laughs> the good thing is that uh, it is not too far from here. So I guess we can actually run something from this depot. 
up to this. And that doesn't mean I'm going to have to build a road. Oh, oh well. Uh, do we have like a, a small country road? Because it's going to be horrible. Oh, yep, we can. And, uh, oh, that's going to need a bridge. Let's just go to there. 121,000 just to get this thing. <laughs> well, at least now you have a, a, you have a new road to, uh, to get to town. Uh, that's an awful corner. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so we should be able to edit um, or add a new line, perhaps. Uh, why don't we just add a new line? So let's say, um, I don't know, snake donation. Donation? Line? And uh, I'm going to need uh, probably a station on the other end, aren't I? The Another, basically, truck stop. <laughs> near A truck stop near the Temple of the Snake Goddess. Yes. Um, don't comment. It's fine. Uh, truck stop. Truck station. Uh, yes, that's where I'll take you. Okay. And then we'll just add that to our new line. So uh, let's just add a station. There we go. One there. And uh, one there. Okay. And then we need to add some new vehicles, but we've already got... Uh, we just, it doesn't say how much. So I'm just going to add one vehicle. And uh, let's just make it the uh, the flatbed again. Buy that. Assign that to the snake donation line, and that should do its job. Should take some coffee up to the um, up to the snake goddess. Indeed. Okay, so making offering is one. Good news. Uh, the locomotive engineer has returned. Good, good, good. So that's that gone away. And transporting people, 25 people between Surabai and Semarang is going so we have to wait for that to finish so now i'm just waiting for two missions to actually go on is that the already got coffee no are you just transporting nothing you are transporting nothing maybe because i put this stop as the first stop in the line yeah let's skip forwards and here they are arriving with the first load of coffee hopefully that's all that we need what a godsend the stylish residence is pleasantly snake free again good and now we just have to wait for the rest of the people. It's not a high volume railway, um, so there's only a few people each way around, each each trip, so yeah, nothing I can do about that. So I'm just going to skip forwards again and let's see if it gives us another mission. And here we have our last load of passengers, I think. Uh-oh, it's rumble on the island's interior. Mighty volcano Merapi threatens to erupt. A phenomenon like this wasn't reckoned with while planning the route. The natives claim that someone has probably angered one of their gods. Maybe they're running coffee the case, up the side of it. If the precious coffee fruit is supposed to be transported by rail in the future too, then it's imperative that something be done. It seems worthwhile to remove the infrastructure if it's not supposed to be buried under ashes and lava. Okay, so it's this... Ma <laughs> yes, that's definitely a volcano. Uh, so we need to... Send the trains to the depot and remove the stop at the coffee plantation from the route. So, I guess we're getting coffee by a different route after this? Uh, okay, fine. Uh, can we send this to the depot by just clicking on it? Uh, manage vehicle? Yeah. Uh, can we just send it to the depot? I think we can. Yep. Uh, unable to find path to depot. Y yes, there is a path to depot, I promise. Uh, let me just send that one to the depot then. Hmm. Maybe they have to be on the other direction. Yep, there it goes. So they have to be on the direction that they can get into the depot. Obviously, it can't detect. They just need to turn around here. So later on, maybe we need uh, either two depots or maybe... A, well, we can't send a track out each side. So we just have to wait for this one to come back. Far enough. Turn around, then we can send it into the depot as well. At that point, we can remove the, uh, the coffee plantation stop and uh, get ready for... Hopefully, no eruption of that volcano. Uh, yeah, so let me skip forwards. And that train should now be heading into the depot. Yep, off it goes. At which point we should be able to just bulldoze uh, you. Yeah, destruction. Okay, I guess. To enable coffee production to continue making progress in future, the route ought to be relocated to an area where it can be assumed that the expected eruptions will leave it intact. Okay, so we need to basically demolish uh, the track from here. And it says uh, rebuild both outside this area. Yeah, so we're going to have to uh, 
basically demolish all of you. And probably... Probably not there, because that's left. Uh, so we should be able to just rebuild it, I guess. Um, let's take a look at the contours. Looks like we should be able to go around here, conveniently. <laughs> and arriving back over here. So why don't we just put down a... Uh, we want basically a train uh, station, don't we? Um, not passengers. Cargo stations. Terminus. Yes. Uh, so if we have it going here, I think... There we go. That's connected. And then we'll have it bring the track this way. Curving around. Ah, uh, that doesn't look too great. Uh, let me just connect it to here. And from here, we should be able to connect that way. The danger has been averted. And transport can be resumed. What's more, the volcano is showing signs of coming down again. Despite that, maybe relocating the route was still a wise move. Yeah, I think some, some developer didn't want to have to do the whole volcano erupting kind of thing. It strikes me that that's quite a small area for a volcano to be, you know, safe from. Um, I'd rather be uh, somewhat over here, really, <laughs> any kind of volcano. Uh, anyway, let's just go back to that trof coffee export train line. I need to add a station again, and this time add this one. Okay, there it is. And then we can go back to our depot. And we can assign both trains to that same route. Okay, so they should go out in sequence. And of course, they have a siding to pass on. So that's good. Uh, transport 30 coffee fruits to the factory. So yeah, that's as before. So we don't have to worry about it. New lines the of business. The fertile island has a lot more to offer than coffee. The widow of a friendly grower, may the poor devil rest in peace, has been planting sugar cane lately. Make the lady happy by providing her with your services. The sugar must be transported to town. From there, it is shipped and then served when continental Europeans get together for coffee. Okay, so just deliver from the sugar plantation and just no particular amount, but we have to go to Surabaya, uh, not the local town, so not Semarang. So we can either go via... Well, we, there is no roads. <laughs> Presumably that's why it's actually doing this. Uh, yes, so we have to deliver that via some method but it doesn't tell us how and given we've learned about sidings and we already have this railway between the two why don't we just see if we can create one i would assume it's going to let us actually create a siding wherever we like um looks like it so let's put one there and uh, maybe one on this side put one over here and then we'll just connect the two up okay and then we'll put us in our signals in as before um, was it one there and one there? I think. Hopefully. <laughs> and uh, then the, we should be able to have a capacity of two trains on this track. So I'm, I'm just wondering here then, if we have a, a, well, a cargo station, and we put the cargo station, no, we want the terminus station, uh, we'll put that near here, uh, rotate it. Okay. And then we'll be able to put a track in place, Connecting that to the same rail line over here. Okay. And then at the other end, we'll do exactly the, the same thing. We'll just have a uh, basically a truck station. Uh, not, not a truck station, a rail station. And we'll connect it on this side of the road. And that is connected there. It just says to Surabaya. It doesn't say whereabouts because it seems like they have a, like a generic demand for it somewhere in the town so that should be fine i would hope we'll soon see and then i'm just going to connect this out here that might be a problem for that rail depot though how's that going to find a route to well no it'll, it'll actually go down to the end of the track first that's fine uh, and then we'll just create a new line for what was it sugar okay so why don't we just do that uh, line manager new line Sugar. Traffic is flowing full steam ahead. The plantation business is developing magnificently. In light of all this success, the incumbent governor is thinking of moving back to his Dutch homeland in good time. Thanks to your outstanding work, you have a good chance of inheriting his post. 
And if we continue playing, we should be able to finish off with this sugar line. Okay, sugar. And uh, we'll add that station. And we'll add this station. Okay. And of course, we now need... <laughs> they're both running on the same line, it shows. We now need another train. Buy a vehicle. Uh, passenger cargo. We want a cargo, obviously. Uh, buy another one of those borsigs. A cargo line of for wheat. Uh, wheat. Sugar, specifically. And let's just buy, I don't know, four. And assign that, hopefully, to the sugar line. And able to find path to stop. That's because it's in a depot uh, and it's pointing towards the passenger terminus, which is slightly annoying. Um, I must be said, uh, unless I can reconnect things uh, before that point, and I probably can't. Huh. So why don't I just basically set up another depot somewhere where it can find um can't find that so why don't we just get a depot in over here train depot and let's rotate it that's looking like it's elevated on that side of the road is it uh, it's elevated on both sides of the road okay and uh, let's put a track in place Come on, it's going to be able to connect somewhere here. Come on, connect. <laughs> You've got to be able to connect somewhere. There we go. It's a bit of a long, long drawn out affair, but uh, fine. Uh, we'll just buy another train here. Um, we could reuse the other one and sell it, etc. But uh, I'm not going to worry. It's just for the end of the uh, end of this particular mission. So, um, yep, there we go. And can I assign you to the sugar route? Yes. Okay. So all we need to do is deliver some sugar from one thing to the other. And let's bring you forward in terms of um, time. Um, that's not good. Oh, he's waiting. Good. Oh, that's that's good. I was hoping no Factorio, uh, no Factorio uh, problems. There he goes. And shared passenger cargo railway. Imagine, exactly as you might imagine, rather than building an independent line, um, well, it's going to work just fine. So now we have to pick up sugar from over here, of which we've got some, and then let's jump forwards until it delivers it, hopefully. I'm sure we'll eventually get to, to uh, you know, parallel tracks and stuff like that, but remember this is quite early on, so, um, you know, having two tracks and then some way of getting between them, etc. is not something we can do just yet. I'm assuming that's available later in the game. Did anyone know who played Transport Fever 1? Can they tell me if that's doable or possible? Um, would like to know. Anyway, Sugar here we go. Sugar rattles toward town quickly by train. What a pleasure. And that is the end of the mission Coffee and Colonialism, or whatever it is, Col Colonies. Uh, so yes, uh, we've done that. We've done all the objectives. So now we can exit back to the main menu and move on to the next mission. If you enjoyed this episode, do give it a thumbs up. I'm very much appreciated. Subscribe and share if you want to, or click on the bell for notifications. More importantly than all of that, leave comments down below for your fellow players. Otherwise, as always, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>